No joke, some of these guys have the potential to be some of the best big men in the NFL. They are big. What's going on guys, welcome back to Fun Overflow, we got another video, we got, um, the top four, uh, interior defensive linemen ratings, so only four guys, it's gonna be a short video, we got two more, yeah, two more videos to do, inside linebackers, and then we got the DBs, which is gonna be an interesting video, either way, we're starting off with Jordan D Davis, please like and subscribe, hope you guys enjoy, Jordan Davis, he's a beast, beast of math, he's 6'6", 340, big dude, arm is 34, hand is, uh, 10, uh, 75, 478, uh, um, 40, 10 yard is 168, vertical 32, broad 10-3, protected first round, obviously. Davis was one of the, um, stars of the combine with a shockingly fast 40 time for such a massive defensive lineman. Along with his insanely fast 40, Davis worked out well and did well in, in team interviews. Some team sources think Davis won't go, get out of the top first half of the first round in the NFL draft. Davis notched, um, uh, 32 tackles and two sacks in 2021, which he uh, did not produce a big stat line. He was a monster on the inside of the defense line, eating up blockers and freeing up the defense defenders to make plays. The massive Davis is a beast at the point of attack and led the Bulldogs to um, tremendous run defense. Multiple team sources have compared him to players like John H Henderson and Albert Hainsworth. Besides Albert Hainsworth, I don't think he's good like that just for the fact of what happened after. Jordan Davis works his butt off, too. I love him. He's a great prospect. And, yeah. He's uh, probably faster than some quarterbacks you've heard of, <clears throat> Tom Brady. Okay, now for Jordan Davis's ratings. Of course, John Henderson was a pretty fast dude for his stature. He definitely got. I think I think he'll definitely get. He he probably get off the quarterback better than uh, Jordan Davis. But they're both big get dudes. They're both pretty fast, and they're both they're they're really similar in a lot of ways. When you think about it, they're pretty athletic. Um, for this dude, he's probably one of the most athletic men in this draft class. I'll I'll give him like I gave him a you know what yeah, I'll give him a four. Um, this dude ran off sub for 540, 340, uh, I mean, that's crazy. He is an absolute, he's a freak. I'm not saying he's gonna be the type of guy that's gonna shed blocks, cause he's not that type of rusher, but this dude will absolutely barrel roll you. He's an absolute monster. This dude is one of the best defensive lineman prospects, or def interior defensive lineman prospects, I'd say over the past five years. I'm talking raw inside. We're talking, like... I don't even know who to say. Javon Kinlaw is another guy you could say he's been really good. Last year, we didn't really see a ton of guys. I mean, Christian Barmore was the best guy, but he, he wasn't even that great. But when you think about it, Jordan Davis is just a pure run stopper. His pass rush, I mean, he'll get after the quarterback. For a big man, he's honestly not that bad. 3.2. His finesse moves, I, he doesn't really wear guys down. I'll be honest with you, so I have to give him like a 2.75. But it's really hard to be a great guy like that, but get, Jordan Davis is just really good. Like, block shedding, I mean... I said he's not going to uh, box shit, but I honestly think he, do he doesn't do a bad job of this. I think he could definitely get better at it, but it's definitely not the worst. Run power. I mean, this is like a 4.3. It's rare to see not if he doesn't get double teamed, and even when he gets double teamed. It's rare for them to push him back. I'll put it that way. He's just so big and so... Get to it in a second. He's so good at getting off the snap, which we're going to, which is one of the reasons, since he's so explosive off the snap, get, being able to get to that speed and right into the defender, so into the offensive lineman so fast, make sure he doesn't get caught and he has the leverage. That is so important for a big man, and he's very good at this. His explosiveness, I mean, his speed, I don't think is crazy. He's fast for a huge man, but it's really his explosiveness. He's just so explosive. You think, guys? Right away, they're at top speed. That's how fat, that's how explosive he is. Strength, I think it's more of his explosiveness because guys are all even to linemen. Like, after a while, he's not going to be the greatest. I mean, he's super strong. You know, I'll give him like a four, yeah. This dude's awesome. But yeah, um, strength is a four. I really do think he's pretty darn strong. Is he Aaron Donald strong? No, Aaron Donald's five strong. There's. It's rare to see a guy go over 4.5 for strength. It's not if you if it's noticeable that you have strength, you're gonna get a four. If if, if it's like underrated, not the average football fan can see it. It's probably more in like the threes if it's underrated, and then if it's bad, it's obviously noticeable. Now for his stamina. Stamina, of course, is a big thing for me because there are interior defensive linemen. I'm not saying the big boy. There's some big boys that are honestly really good stamina. Does he have really good stamina? Absolutely not. 
I'm gonna give him like a three for this because he does stay. He did stay in the field in that national championship a lot. But these big guys, it's it's really hard for them to stay on the field. Are they bad? At it? Absolutely not. But there are so there are like there's teams that are going out. They're gonna go after guys in those second and third rounds, and they're gonna be on the field more than Jordan Davis. It's not Jordan Davis's fault. It's just the fact that he's a bigger man, kind of like Dexter Lawrence when he was picked. Dexter Lawrence is a really good player. Do I think it was worth the pick? Maybe not, but yeah. Jordan Davis is an absolute monster. We'll get to his rating at the end, but anyway, John Henderson's kind of the same way. I think John Henderson, uh, Henderson has more stamina. But either way, yeah, Jordan Davis, beast of a prospect. See how he does in the draft. I think he'll be a top 10 pick if he's lucky. But yeah, he's a great prospect. Okay, our next guy, Devontae Wyatt. Um, during the 2021 season, Team Sources thought why would go in the third round of 2022 NFL Draft. He had, um he then further proved himself with a strong finish to the season, capped off by a, a great week at the Senior Bowl and an excellent combine workout. Go watch those; those were phenomenal. Those are probably the best defensive lineman ones you're gonna watch. Honestly, you, if you think they're boring, that was not boring. He was just absolutely demolishing him. Scout said why was only a, a, a fit as a three technique for a um, four or three defense. That makes sense. But he has um, some gap shooting ability and could um, be a nice value pick if he's drafted for that role. In 2021, um, Wyatt collected th 39 tackles, two and a half sacks, two forced fumbles, and one uh, passes bat one pass batted. Off the field um, concerns are hurting Wyatt's um, draft grades um, from some evaluators. Some teams have removed Wyatt from their boards because um, because of what they say is a lot of baggage. Yeah, there is a little bit of that. Um, there's been I won't say allegations, but there's been some interesting stuff that happened off the field that isn't exactly thrilling if you want to be a pro draft prospect. But this dude's really good. Yeah, I'll put it that way. Five time, I mean, not as fast as Jordan Davis, but he's not as good as Jordan Davis. He's basically Jordan Davis, but smaller and a little quicker. I'll put it that way. 6'2", 307, 33, um, 9'8", uh, and yeah, um, first round, second round projected. That makes a lot of sense. Of course, I have him going in the first round. But this dude has a lot of talent. I honestly think he's not as good as Ed Oliver. He's not as good as Javon Kinlaw, but he's definitely better than Le'Veon Wuzerki. It's not how you say it, but that's how I say it, so whatever. But, yeah, Devontae Wyatt's here. Um, interesting player. So let's talk about Kenny Clark. Kenny Clark is literally what makes him the probably top three defensive tackle in the NFL. It's really, I mean, top five, yeah, top five, put it that way. Kenny Clark is the best at shooting run gaps. He knows where he's supposed to get to when he positions himself in the right way. Even though, even if they change the pass pro or the run pro, he knows what he's supposed to be. If it's in the A gap, the B gap, or even if he has to get to the C gap, he'll get over there. He literally gets where he's supposed to be on every single snap. And I really do think Devontae Wyatt did that this year. Um, Jordan Davis we got cleared the room, and Devontae Wyatt got there. That's usually happened in the run game. Well, because it's just all power. Uh, Devontae Wyatt is a pretty good athlete, I'll be honest with you, though. 3.65. How about that? Just for the kicks. Um, yeah, he's pretty good. I think his passers is actually pretty darn good. I'll give him like a 3.8. It's definitely not his best part, you could say. But it's definitely a thing. Pass rush. I mean, I just said that, right? Oh, what am I saying? His finesse moves, I mean, they're not great. Like, he doesn't use them that much. But when he has to, I mean, it's okay. Black shooting, this is his best attribute. 4.4. I mean, he sheds blocks and he's right in the run ga run gap. Like, it just helps. And they get favorable matchups, too. And he just knows where everything's supposed to happen. It's just how it is. Block, like I said, block shooting's there. Run power, I don't really like his run power. I'll give him, like, a 3.2. It's more Jordan Davis that's getting off him, to be honest with you. But it's pretty darn good. It's not terrible, let me put it that way. Speed off snap, I don't think he's that explosive, really. I think he can get up to speed pretty fast, but... He's not that, he's really not that explosive. Strength, his strength is honestly really good. I'm going to give him like a 3.5. That seems fair for him. It's, it's not like Jordan Davis strength, but it, it, if he has to bolt rush, he will. Stamina, not good. I mean, you see, like, he runs out of steam in, those, in the fourth quarter. He's never as good. Like, Look at his stats, look at the, literally watch him play. In the fourth quarter, he's not as good as he is in the first quarter. It's just how it is. It's, it, like, it's a lot of players for that, like the big men. But, especially him. Devontae Wyatt, if he can get better stamina, I really do think that's his only hurting him, other than the off-the-field stuff. Maybe he can get a little stronger 
I think he could be a really good player, yeah. But this dude's a beast. He's really solid. We'll see what he can do in the NFL. And I wish him a lot of luck. Bailey off play action. Gets hit. And the ball pops out. That's rule the fumble. Okay, now for DeMarvin Leal. Um, he's a little light for the position, but you'll see why he's really good. 6'4", 290. Um, three, uh, 33.25, so bigger arms, hands, uh, 9.5, four time, uh, five on the dot, I guess, um, 174, vertical, uh, 27.5, rod 8, 10, and yeah, second, third round pick projected. In 2021, Leo had 58 tackles, eight and a half sacks, one forced, form, uh, forced fumble, two passes defended, he just, um, decided to skip the Gator Bowl to prepare for pre-draft pre workouts. The Aggies played him at the end and tackle, but his fast rising talents are most dangerous on the inside. Some of the media has projected um, Leo as a, his high, highest first round pick, but in speaking to multiple team sources, they have a second round grade on Leo. He'll probably go in the second, said the director of player personnel. I love his personnel, his ability to be a pat, a, a rush to the passer, and he's instinct, um, instinctive uh, versus the run. But I have st my struggles with him. I think he's going. To have issues uh, um, early on playing the run inside. And he has um, had a sort of a bad body feel and like a more package on the guys early on. I don't um, see Leo as a, um, for, uh, as a high first rounder, said the National Scout. He's not powerful or sudden, but he's agile and fluid. He, he will struggle inside. I don't love the fact that he'll struggle inside because, yeah, he could get pushed back a little because he's smaller, but this dude is not like. Weak. You gotta remember that. This dude's really strong. Like when you think about it on that side. But he is more agile than most guards and most even centers. But the thing about him is, he's just small for the position. That's what people were. You will be a first round pick. I mean, maybe you could be a Peyton per Turner thing. I think that was an awful pick in the grand scheme of things. But the Marvin Leal is a good prospect. We'll see what he can do though. Go to his ratings. Okay, now for DeMarvin Leo. Athleticism, I don't really think it's that crazy. I mean, he's, like, good with his hands. I think he's more of a football player than, like, an athlete or an athletic specimen, you could say. I'll give him, like, a 3.5 because he does make some big plays. Like, I mean, he can get up there. He has pretty good vertical, as you can see. But, yeah, I think he is a decent athlete. He's not the best. Pass rush, it's his best attribute. 3.6, I'd say. In the NFL, he'll probably like a 3.75. It's hard to find four pass rushers going in here. There, there's only been really three guys who have been fives ever. TJ Watt, Aaron Donald, and Miles Garrett. Those are literally the best pass rushers you can say. And I, I'm talking before all the uh, Lawrence Taylor stuff. I'm talking like now. Fast and years. Three, those are the only three fives that I'd even like look at when you watch him play in college. Those are the only guys that have that type of talent. Do I think Mar DeMarvin Leal could get up to a four? Maybe, but he's a more pass rusher, like I said. His pass rusher is really good. Finesse moves. They're pretty good. I mean, they could work on the inside. If he throws enough hands in the right spot on a center or a guard, could definitely wear him down good. He's just got to be more efficient with it, I think. He's not the most efficient when it comes to it, and that could be a problem. Block shedding, 3.4. I mean, he has decent hands, and I mean, not just that, though, but I really do think... The fact that he has good hands could really help him in the NFL, like, because his run power is so, um, limited, 2.1, yeah, it's not great, I do think his block shit is going to be a help. Speed off snap, snap, I mean, he's not that explosive, I'll give him a 3.15, though, because there are plays, like, he, he never really misses on it, though, like, he's never late off the snap, like, oh, God, he's not going to be able to get to the quarterback, or he's not going to be able to stop that run play, not going to be able to the right gap, stuff like that, not really. He, and, like... It's all about the defense fitting the run when you think about these big guys, these defense linemen. And sometimes they have to do it themselves. I mean, like, you can't just count on your coach all the time. And he he doesn't really seem to do that all the time because... But the thing is, he never really misses off the snap, so that is another thing. Strength. I mean, like I said, he's not that bad, but considering he's going up against guys that are going to be like... Let's see. Some guys are going to be 50, 60 pounds heavier than him. He's going to struggle, I'll be honest with you, but... I think he will be able to hang with him decently, but he's not going to get killed. Let me put it that way. Stamina. I mean, he's better than all the other guys, so I'll give him, like, a 3.4. I mean, like, he's smaller, which will help. I don't think he's that outstanding. He's not going to be, like, going the whole game, but see some of his biggest sacks. They are in the fourth quarter, 
It's nothing special, but it's not something you're going to be like, oh gosh, you can't get him off the field in the fourth quarter. He's dead. He's not gassed like that. And anyone, yeah, Jerry Tiller, I think, is a good guy. Jerry Tiller is a better player than him. I honestly think that. He always will be. Jerry Tiller was a light guy, but Jerry Tiller, the best thing he has is his block shooting. I mean, he's a really good inside pr pressure. He be gets the run right away, basically, if it's a one-on-one -on -one mostly. But, yeah, I really do think Jerry Tiller is a solid player. I think the Marvin Leo will be. He's just got to get used to it on the inside. And, honestly, he could probably go outside for some snaps, too, on those third down plays, considering he's a good pass rusher. And now for our got last guy, we got Travis Jones. Travis Jones is 6'4", 326, um, arms 34, hands 1025, not the greatest. 40 time, 4992. I mean, he's not slow, he's pretty athletic. So yeah, and yeah, if you didn't know, he was on the worst team in the country last year. So that probably won't help. Full under the radar. 10 yard, uh, 176, so not that, not super slow. Three cone, three, um, 733, not bad, a little bit above the average. Uh, 28.5 broad, 9.2, just about average. Yeah, 2 for 3 projected. Jones on, went under the radar in 2021. He is a big nose tackle flash, some pass rush ability. Really. That's a big thing. Over the past two years, putting up um, 7 sacks in the last two seasons, 3.5, if you want to go in-depth for both seasons. Jones also is a solid run defender. I think that's his better attribute, in my opinion. 126 tackles over the last past three seasons. He then had a good week of practice at the Senior Bowl. Jones is a heavy nose tackle who could be a tough run defender in the NFL and give can. Andrew contribute to the pass rush by creating a uh, push at the 2022 NFL uh, Scouting Combine. Jones continued his strong postseason with a very good workout, showing impressive speed for a large nose tackle. Okay, now for Travis Jones, athleticism. Don't think he's really that much. Like, it's not striking. I'm going to give it 3.3, though, because considering he moves some pretty darn good prospects. If you didn't know... Um, for, um, what it's called, Purdue. Purdue was some pretty good offensive linemen. He stood his own against them. He even got a couple pressures on their quarterback. But, yeah, I think 3.3 is good for him. Could it be better? Yeah, he could definitely be more athletic. But, I don't think he's anything, I don't think he's anything great. Pass rush. I mean, it's sneaky and underrated. You gotta remember this. He can get after the quarterback. Like, Muhammad Wilkerson, that's what he did. He got after the quarterback. And the NFL exploded. That's what really he did. He was still a good run defender, but... He exploded. I think Travis Jones could definitely do that. Finesse moves. I think this probably could arguably be his best statistic. I see 3.75 for him. Could it be better? Um, I really don't think so. I think he could just not get... I don't think he can get better at this. I'm being honest with you. Probably won't be weird on defenders any efficient, more efficiently. I'll be honest with you. It's not going to work. Block shedding. 3.2. I think it's a little sh like slow when you first look at it. And I don't think it gets much faster, really. Like, he doesn't shed blocks great, really. But I don't think it's much of a problem, either. He can definitely get better at the run power. I'm going to give him, like, a 3.5. It's nothing special, but it's not like he doesn't penetrate anything. Like, i got to give him something. He does penetrate off the line. He's just not going to run a guy into a quarterback. Not like that. Speed off the snap. I don't really like his speed at all, really. He, he's not that explosive. I'll give him a 2.7. That's the one knock I have against him is his um, speed off the snap. But otherwise, his strength... Pretty good, near and good. 3.6, I'd give that to him. His stamina, I mean, eh, it's like, you know, like at that end of the game, we make the stop. He didn't really make the stop. It was just how it was. Against Vanderbilt, he couldn't do it. Against other teams, he couldn't do it. Like, I, um, I want to go to Wyoming. Yeah, I don't love how he's played, how, like, hit, hit him as a prospect. But is he a bad player? Absolutely not. He's a really good, he's a really just solid football player. Could he explode? Absolutely. Does he have the potential? Yes. Do I think the floor is there? It's there, but I do don't think he is the type of guy that has a low has a high floor. It's not that high right now. It's he's a below average starter if you want to put it like that right now, which is not what you want to do when you're investing in a second round pick for Travis Jones, who I really do think is a good prospect. I said I don't love him. I don't love him, but he, I can't deny he's a really good, he's a, he's a good enough prospect to start in the NFL. Okay, now for Devontae Wyatt, I give him 3.42 rating. Pretty darn solid for a D tackle. I mean, he can't get much, a ton better per se. Could he definitely be better? I mean, yeah, probably. But, like I said, he's a really solid prospect. Probably going to be a first round pick. Really solid grade. Uh, um, the, um, Marvin Leal, this is par partially, yeah, because he's not that big. 
Do I think it's a ton of potential? Yes, his floor right now is pretty low, though. That's why it's 3.19. Not a great grade. Could definitely be worse, though. Um, now we go to Travis Jones. Of course, he's probably the least talented out of all these guys. He does have the ability. He's pulled, obviously. He has that potential. He's just not super... You do not see that talent right off the screen. 3.3 for him. So, really solid grade for him overall. I think he's a really good prospect in the grand scheme of things. I don't love him personally because I don't see that ability to, um... Blow up, but who the heck knows? Now for the guy Jordan Davis, 3.58. Could it be a 3.6? Yeah, probably it's a 3.6. This dude's a beast, though. He's really, really good. Okay, Jordan Davis, 3.58. Yup, he was leading for these uh, D tackles. Interior defensive line. Uh, Devontae Wyatt, 3.42. Travis Jones, 3.3. DeMar DeMarvin Leal, 3.19. Yup, those are your um, interior defense line ratings. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let's get the outro. Yup, see you later. Can I end this thing? Yeah, we were talking about Aaron Rodgers. Um, this is how good he is. He has the lowest interception rate in the season at 0.3%. And this is so crazy because he was fifth in the NFL in pass attempts. Fifth. 597 attempts. Two interceptions. I don't care. 0.3 interception rate. That is the best in NFL history. I don't even think it's really that close. Dwayne Hewitt, if you didn't know, he had 11 touchdowns, one interception. It was like... I think it was like 15 games or something. It was crazy, too. But, um, Kirk Cousins threw 10 interceptions with more pass attempts. Um, yeah, basically, the guys who threw less, um, uh, in comparison, Baker Mayfield, who threw, um, over 100 attempts left, less, threw, um, 12 more interceptions. This dude's elite, and I'm going to show you his interceptions. Yeah, it was pretty, um, scarce, to say the least. Take it. Rodgers. Intercepted. The streak is over. Jordan Poyer off the deflection. Adams top of your screen. Rodgers. End zone throw. And it's intercepted. And it's Eddie Jackson.